thank you so much for watching this Angel League TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything, I mean like. We are on episode number 17. First and foremost, before I get into this, y'all might hear my baby in the background. His daddy at work and I'm at work too, clearly. It's bringing a baby to work with you today. I'll be tired of editing and telling y'all, oh my baby, it's my baby. So just know if you hear baby, hear a couple of kids actually in the background. Y'all know I got a lot of kids so and it's the summertime so yeah just fyi but if you're new to my channel you might want to go ahead on it hit that subscribe button down below because you will not be disappointed i promise i will not disappoint you and that also means you need to go look at some other 16 other story times that i have i got a lot more than 16 story times but this particular thing that i'm doing right now if this is your first time watching me i am doing a series i'm doing a series about these crazy ass people that i allowed to move in with me and then i was dumb enough to continue to live with them after her baby daddy walked out like girl it was a lot so go ahead and go to number one that way you can catch up because it's a lot of tea it's a lot if you are literally if you just not finding me girl you have a lot of story times to binge watch and me i don't know about you but i love to binge watch a good story time series okay so <laughs> go ahead and hit subscribe and this video will be right here waiting for you whenever you done them other 16 okay also go ahead and hit that like button y'all been doing y'all been doing the damn thing whenever it comes to that like button so go ahead and continue to do so that way your girl can get out here in these youtube streets and turn your post notifications on that way you can be notified the next time your girl posts a video and if you haven't joined my close friends go ahead and join my close friends because my close friends watch this video first before y'all so message me on instagram right now or after this video and say hey angie i want to be in close friends so let me just go ahead and get this out the way i told y'all in the last story time that we had one story time left well bitch we got three okay <laughs> we actually have three and as i was going through all of the things that i was going to be talking about i was just like this is too long for one video like i cannot believe i really thought all of this shit after the fact mind y'all we've already moved out you know everybody went their separate ways why i still got more tea girl just sit back and relax as y'all can see by the title i know y'all giving me the side eye don't worry about it we're gonna get into it okay we're gonna get into it <laughs> so let's just start off with how i felt i felt so free i felt like weight was lifted off of my shoulders my chest my throat bitch everything i just felt so good i felt a million pounds lighter i was able to just be in my own shit not worry about somebody else that ain't got nothing to do with me you know it was just me my husband and my kids and it was amazing it was amazing although i'm saying i felt free technically a bitch really wasn't free i wasn't really free of katrina and the reason why is because i don't know if y'all remember and i don't even know if i told y'all this i'm pretty sure i did but way back when i put katrina on my car insurance y'all trying to help a bitch out i'm always trying to help motherfuckers like that's one thing i'm working on because girl i'm gonna be 30 soon like i can't believe i'm saying that but my ogs my ogs who've been watching me since i was 16 <laughs> girl y'all i've been doing this youtube shit for a long time it might not look like it because bitch, you know a bitch really should be somewhere else in these youtube you know what i'm saying but it's okay it's all right i'm, I'm still gonna get there everybody everybody got their own story and this is mine <laughs> But yeah, I've been doing this shit for a long time. And I'm just like, girl, you must be 30 real soon. You gotta stop being so nice to people. And, and also, y'all, I am a people pleaser. And I don't want to get too much into this because we're going to talk about this towards the, the, the very, very ending of the series. Like the for real, for real ending. We're going we gonna to reflect and all of that. So I don't want to touch too much on that. But I'm just saying this to say, like, she should not have been on my insurance. Like, especially after the fact that we had moved now i was honest i ain't gonna lie i fucked up because i was supposed to go ahead and tell her like she needed to find her own insurance right whenever we were getting ready to move but <sighs> i was so focused on moving y'all honestly i was not worried about that insurance um and so we ended up renewing and so i'm just like fuck fuck it you know we renewed with her so i guess she might as well just stay on insurance for another six months or whatever right right yeah a bitch was wrong for that i shouldn't have did that i shouldn't have did that and we're gonna get to why but i just want to say that to say like she even though me and katrina weren't living together anymore um even though we weren't talking the only time i would get a text from her is whenever she apple paying me her portion of the money 
for the car insurance. That was it. That was the only time that I talked to her. The last story time we left off, I was telling y'all how Darius was invited to the motherfucking house, bitch. I know I left y'all on that crazy ass cliffhanger. Y'all know how I do. But girl, Darius then made his way to the new house. How, bitch? I don't know. I didn't even know my husband was going back and forth or like texting Darius at all. You know, I just thought that the whole situation at the graduation party was what it was and that was gonna be that. But apparently, I was wrong because all of a sudden he talking about some Darius on his way. Like, goddamn, give me a second to get the fuck. That's one thing that my husband always do. He gonna tell me when a motherfucker coming, but that motherfucker gonna be on the way when he telling me. They ain't gonna be, oh, they coming in a couple of hours or they coming tomorrow. He gonna tell me like as they literally get ready to pull the fuck up. So, bitch, I'm just like okay okay the fuck and i think i was on the phone with my friend at the time or on facetime no i was i was on the phone with her and she was like bitch keep me on facetime so i can listen to the tea i could not believe that this was happening but it was happening and also i want to elaborate a little bit more i've known darius the same amount of time that i've known my husband since i was 13 okay Anytime I see my husband, I see Darius. They, like I told y'all before, they literally grew up together. So, you know, we, we, we got history, you know what I'm saying? And prior to this whole situation happening and him storming out and leaving, me and Darius was super cool. Like, we would go door dashing together back when. Like, we were tight. Like, we were fucking cool. I wasn't really, like, mad or too upset. Or, I honestly, I wasn't mad at all whenever my husband told me that Darius was coming to the house. Honestly, it was like a breath of fresh air because I'm just like, okay, like, I don't know what this is about to be about, but I, like, I'm gonna just see, sit back and relax and see where this takes us. I don't know what this conversation about to become of, but I'm just gonna see. And boy, <laughs> I was definitely in for a surprise towards the end of it all because I did not expect things to turn out the way that it's gonna turn out, bitch. So, girl, not only did Darius come, but the baby came with him as well. And um, I, it had been what a couple weeks since we seen her it wasn't too long because she stayed at the house with us as well on a little two and a half days that her mama had her whatever she was there she had her little bonnet on and i was like hey hey you know my kids were saying hey to her because my kids you know they were i don't think i ever explained to y'all but my kids especially my four-year-old especially him they're really close because they're close in age my baby was born in february of 2020 and baby girl was born in october of 2020 so they're literally like what um eight nine months apart some shit like that don't count me i'm not doing the math but like they were close so they were playing and stuff like that it was you know they were happy to see each other by the way my daughter was like why is he here my 12 year old is so shady i don't talk to her about what's going on but she not dumb either so she like and her head the fuck this, this is the op the even the, the baby got op too like why is baby op and big op over here in my house <laughs> So I was like, Nevaeh, shut up. That's exactly what I told her. I said, Nevaeh, shut up. My business is gone now. So anyways, the first thing Darius does as he walks in and greets us, he takes the bonnet off of the baby's head. And I keep saying baby because that's what I named her for the story time. I named her baby girl. So he takes the bonnet off of baby girl's head and he just shaking, her, shaking his head. And then I look. And then bitch, half the top of her hair is gone. And I'm like, no. So Darius, he goes to say, basically, Katrina was asleep, and while Katrina was asleep, the baby caught, uh, got some scissors, and first cut her brother's hair. First. Now, she ain't cut her hair yet, but the first time she cut her brother's hair, and he used to have, like, plaits in his head, so she literally cut a plait off his head while he was asleep, so apparently that happened and i don't know how far apart these two situations were but it wasn't that far apart bitch because now next thing you know baby girl didn't cut her own hair okay she didn't cut her own hair at the top bitch she ain't got no edges and she got pretty hair i was like girl what what is going on so yeah he was talking his little shit about that and we was talking all shit and bitch that just opened up a can of worms okay he was venting about her and bitch i started venting about the bitch too so darius was telling me how katrina was thinking about switching the days off because remember Katrina had quote unquote visitation custody uh even though it wasn't custody because they never went to court but they their agreement was to work around her schedule her work schedule so she had the baby on she would get the baby Sunday at six or whenever they would meet up and she would have her Tuesday um well bitch I didn't skip the whole day she would get her Sunday have her Monday have her Tuesday and then drop her off Wednesday and then Darius will have her Wednesday evening, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 
and then give her back. So girl, we get to talking and you know, slowly but surely we just feeding him little pieces of information here and there. You know, just trying to break it in, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much everything that we were telling Darius, for the most part, he basically was not surprised and already knew. So girl, yeah, he was not surprised, but um, he wasn't happy about the whole her situation with leaving the baby with her 15 year old or 16 year old at the time when i tell y'all we basically told him everything we basically told him everything the only thing that i didn't disclose at that moment was that i had her location on because i'm just like okay i'm just feeding him a little tea i ain't gonna give him everything just yet let's just see how this little new relationship whatever the fuck you want to call it shit is gonna go um we just gonna see, okay? Because, mind y'all, this is not the first time that we fell out with Darius. Y'all already know this is not the first time that we fell out, or at least not the first time that my husband fell out with Darius. And this was the first time that I really, really fell out with Darius. All of the other times, my husband was the one that was really mad, and I was just in the background. And I forgot to mention that we also discussed the whole situation with him leaving up and leaving the house and leaving us with the bills and shit like that. He did apologize for it. He did acknowledge and take accountability for his actions and his part of the whole situation. So that was another big reason, you know, we even continue this conversation um, because he, you know, he's accountability. He knew he, he fucked up. He knew he should have handled that situation better. My husband was telling him, like, if you would have just came back to the house after you, you know, left and got a couple of hours of fresh air, then y'all could have talked. Y'all and then Katrina and Darius, they could have talked and figured it out. Whether they was going to be together or not, they could have figured it out amicably without all of that extra shit. And so, girl, we got to asking him about his life and what was going on. And, girl, he was like, his life was going down a motherfucking drain at that point. Uh, it wasn't doing too good. He wasn't looking too well. He was going through it, bitch. Um, Darius had a job. From my understanding, he had a job and he had been working. Girl, at this time, he didn't lost it. He didn't lost the job. And then he wrecked his fucking car. So now he's jobless and carless. He drove his mom's car to our house, actually. Um, but yeah, he ain't got no job. He ain't got no car. He got this apartment that he's talking about his lease getting ready to be up. And I'm just like, damn, you, you, you down bad, brother. I'm just like, oh shit. Here go another sob story. Don't fall for it. It ain't your business. It ain't got nothing to do with y'all. That ain't y'all problem, okay? So we ended up hanging out a couple more times after that. He came to the house and chilled, da, da, da. Everything was really, truly good. We had quite a few cars at that time. I remember vividly, we were just in my room ch talking or whatever. All three of us, we were just chilling and talking. And all of a sudden, my husband was like, sir, do you want to have my car? You can take over the, the car note. So in my mind, I'm just like, who the fuck you think he is? Honestly, y'all, it wasn't my car, so I didn't really give a fuck. I only gave a fuck just off the simple fact of who it was. You know what I'm saying? Like, the history. Like, come on now, we only been talking for a good couple of weeks now. Like, goddamn, slow your roll. But hey, that was my husband's car. I wasn't paying a motherfucking no bitch. So girl, he ended up taking over the car, y'all. He got the car and um started paying a note and at that point it was on my insurance so instead of me taking the car off the insurance we kept the car on our insurance specifically because we wanted to ensure or be sure that the car maintained insurance on it through the entire time that he uh, was paying on the car right so i was just like okay well now you gotta pay me your portion of the insurance or whatever so now bitch at this point i got both of the goddamn ops on my fucking insurance <laughs> This is a joke. This is a fucking joke. Just keep listening. So now I got Miss Nasty and her car and my insurance. And then now we got op number two. Or really op number one. Because Katrina, she the op number two. But girl, we got op number one and op number two on our motherfucking insurance, bitch. Like, what did we just discuss these entire 16 story times? Like, just keep watching, though. Keep watching, okay? It gets better. Well, just, just, I don't know about that, but just keep watching. <laughs> it was getting down to the wire of him about to move out the apartment. I really don't know why. Well, at this point, I didn't understand why he was moving because one time I went to go bring him something at his apartment and it was a really nice apartment. And I was, I was proud of him. I'm just like, I know that's right. You better show out on these hoes. Like, you don't need no, you don't need nobody. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no Katrina the fuck. You can do this shit on your own. I was really surprised and happy for him that he had a little nice apartment and stuff. So I, I didn't really understand why he was moving but i can only 
assume maybe it was just due to financial issues because at that time like i said he wasn't working so moving forward um, my kids ended up starting school the first day of school in a whole new district whole new city you know it's just them i'm just you know it ain't no little dante and get on the bus with them it's just my kids okay um, they started school and stuff like that, girl. And then eventually I did end up spilling the tea to Darius. I did tell him about the whole location thing. And he was just like, I know you're lying. I'm just like, no, I wish I was, but I ain't. <laughs> One particular time he was trying to call her for something and she wasn't answering the phone. Like he had been calling her all day. And he was like, can you check and see if she at the house or whatever? Cause she ain't answering the phone. And I checked and she was at the house. I'm just like, maybe she's asleep. And he was like, yeah, maybe she was. And then come to find out she was asleep. So um, <laughs> that was the one and only time that I can remember that he's asked me where she was. So baby girl's birthday is in October, right? And October was also the month that he was due to move. So prior to him moving, uh, Darius decided he wanted to throw a little get together at his sister's house for baby girl for her birthday. And so of course we went, we brought the kids and stuff like that. We there, you know, chilling or whatever and then all of a sudden we see miss nasty walk in and girl when i tell y'all i didn't make no type of motherfucker eye contact okay if eye contact was a person that showed the fuck wasn't gonna be me because i didn't make no damn eye contact i it was as if she wasn't there even the, the kids now my kids you know they friendly so they were talking to her kids and shit like that but girl i did not say shit to her it was i did not say shit to her but i could see it in her face she was shook, bitch. She was surprised at the fact that we, as in my husband and I, were interacting with Darius. Because before then, like, all she knew was we was still wasn't fucking with him. And so she was just like, I could just see it in her eyes. She was like, oh shit, like, they talking again. <laughs> they cool again. Oh shit. I wonder what they told him. But yeah, we wasn't fucking with her, her kids. I didn't say hey to her kids. Her kids didn't say hey to me. And vice versa, like, energy was definitely reciprocated because at this point, it's like, we ain't got no reason to talk. We ain't got shit to talk about. Anytime I think about you, I get PTSD. So I'm good. I'm good on you and your kids, okay? So the move finally comes and Darius, he was moving. I think he ended up bringing baby girl over to the house while he moved as well. So we knew for a fact, like, he was moving out because he ended up having one of his nephews help him and stuff like that so he asked my husband to help but you know he was putting his stuff in like storages of his, like his parents storage and stuff so he was moving his furniture whatever he had and he was moving out so the night of the move Darius had came to the house we were just talking and stuff and my husband asked him he like so where you staying at like did you find a new place yet or like who you staying with because we didn't hear anything about him moving into a new place we just heard about him moving out Darius kind of like brushed it off and was being funny or whatever like don't worry about it why you worry about where I'm laying my head at if I could roll my eyes as hard as I wanted to roll my eyes I promise you my eyeballs would have been stuck within myself bitch I was rolling the fuck out my eyes because I'm just like, no, 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 wait, 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 no, we don't even need to discuss where he gonna live at, that ain't even a concern of ours, we don't even need to talk about it, like, that's not even a topic of discussion for real, I'm like also giving him the side eye because I'm like, what you mean, like, it's either you got a place or you don't, a couple of days later, not even three days later, bitch, we get a call from Darius' dad, <laughs> or my husband rather gets a call from Darius' dad, and Darius' dad was just like, me and his mom, we were just talking, and we wanted to know if you and Angelique would be okay if Darius came and stayed with y'all for a couple weeks until his please don't play with me right now just no that's it please let's not please his daddy know everything that went on then Darius's dad proceeded to add that his mama went outside to go to work or went outside to do something and she seen him sleeping in the car in the driveway cut the cameras dad ass sleeping in the car that my husband just gave him am I surprised no because it was a reason why he gave my husband that answer whenever my husband asked Darius, where the fuck you laying your head at? When my husband brought that up to me, because my husband, of course, asked me how I felt about it, I was just like, I was instantly irritated, because I'm just like, why would they ask you something like that? They know what we just went through. You know, they, they know everything. They, they know everything. Like, I understand that, that y'all have been, you know, falling out and getting back cool since y'all been little, 
But like, come on now, we're adults. Some shit you just gotta put a stop to. Even though my husband asked me what my opinion was, it didn't really feel like I had a choice. Even though I'm pretty sure I had a choice. Going back to being the people pleaser and me always wanting the best for the next person despite how it may make me feel or despite what position that it would make me be in. I was just like, okay, if that's what you want him to do, you know, it's just for two weeks. That's what I was thinking about in the back of my mind. Like, okay, it's just two weeks. I don't even know why I agree. So I'm just like, fuck it. It's just two weeks. We've dealt with him longer than two weeks before, so I think I can handle two weeks. Yeah, I can think about the past, but it ain't one of those type of things where he coming and paying rent and shit like that. Like, this is our shit, you know what I'm saying? So, we technically doing him a favor, so it can't be that bad, right? Right. Wrong. Child, we told him he could come or whatever, and the first thing he came and bought was his motherfucking dog. And if you know me, if you know me in real life, you know that... I don't like animals. I'm not a fan of them. Like, I don't fuck with animals. I don't like a fish, not a bird, bitch, not a nothing. You hear what I'm saying? The dog name was Zai, bitch. It was like a little pit bull, little, little short, skinny, ugly motherfucker. It wasn't a cute dog. I'm just being honest. The dog wasn't cute. I'm even more irritated because, like, goddamn, bitch, you ain't even cute. Like, I can't even be like, oh, it's so cute. Like, I can't even pretend that I like you for real because you're not a, a appealing animal. Like, I'm sorry. And he claimed the dog was trained. My husband asked, why is this dog trained? Because we don't want nobody pissing and shitting in the house. You know, even though the dog was in the cage, you still don't want no pissing shit in no cage because the cage is in the house, right? He claimed the dog was trained, but bitch, we shortly found out that the bitch wasn't. <laughs> she wasn't trained at all. <laughs> Not one bit. Now at this point, Darius and found a job at Taco Bell and it was kind of like a temporary shit. He was like, I ain't gonna really be here for long. You know, I just want to get some money. You know, I got to have some money to pay my car and and stuff like that, which I get, you know, a job is better than nothing. One thing about Darius, I'm gonna tell y'all, he, he'll, he gonna keep some somebody job. He might have about five or six of them in a year, but he gonna keep a job. And so he would bring us food from Taco Bell. Every night he'd be like, what y'all want? A fruity stuffery, a Mexican pizza. And I don't even fuck with Taco Bell like that because Taco Bell was my very first job if y'all didn't know. Yeah, but if you're OG, you probably know. But yeah, I don't even fuck with Taco Bell like that because I, I know how the food is really cooked. So we ain't gonna talk about that. I, I don't wanna ruin it for y'all. But yeah, I don't really fuck with it. But bitch, it was free. And sometimes I feel like most of cooking and my kids like this. So hell yeah, bring us some goddamn Taco Bell. So two weeks came and two weeks went. Where the fuck was Darius? In my house. <laughs> he didn't say anything about him moving or anything like that at this point. And so my husband eventually asked him, like, Darius, what's going on? You said you were supposed to be moving on such and such a day, but she ain't saying shit. Like, what's going on? So Darius said something about, oh, the apartment complex. They kept pushing it back. Some damn weird excuse. And so we just like, okay, like, I hear you. But how long is shit going to take? You know what I'm saying? But... Everything was cool. We didn't have a problem with he wasn't in our way. He would go to work, come and come to the house and stay out our way. Like we didn't have a problem with him. So by him needing like a couple of extra days, which we thought was or could have been a couple extra days, that didn't really affect us like that for real, for real. So we just let it go and we was like, okay, he said they they, they working on it, they working on it, whatever. But honestly, that was red flag number one. And then whenever me and my husband was pillow talk, cause bitch, we be pillow talking and gossiping and stuff sometimes. I'll ask my husband like, it don't know me like what the fuck. There is gonna get money to move because don't get me wrong, Taco Bell is money, but Taco Bell ain't about to put a down payment or a deposit, a security deposit, a U Haul. But like, Taco Bell ain't gonna get that, especially the hours that he worked. And so my husband was like, I don't know, but he said he moving, so that's what we going with. And I'm like, all right, shit, we going with it. But I'm just letting you know it ain't looking too good, all right? It ain't looking too good. I don't know where he's gonna get the coins from, but it ain't my business. Maybe. Maybe he knows something that we don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt, like I always seem to do. And I always regret it. Like I'm finna regret this, okay? So girl, maybe about a week or so, Darius is like, yeah, I'm getting ready to move, da da da. And he ended up showing me like the approval or something. It was like a text message though. I can't remember what it said, but whatever it was, it was as if like the leasing agent was texting him or some shit like that, like confirming his movement day. I don't know. But that's what he like, he showed me. I didn't ask him for this proof. Like I didn't ask for it for none of this, but 
Darius decided to, to show it to me. And so I'm looking, I'm just like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, you finna move? Cool. So I guess Darius was trying to do that to prove that he was actually trying to move or actually was moving or what we thought. Um, and I was, I went with it. I'm like, okay, yeah. He ain't just sitting on his ass. Like, he actually trying to move, right? Wrong. Moving day <laughs> came. Um, and he was like, yeah, I'm about to go to the apartment or whatever. Uh, I'll see y'all later. He said he was going to come back and get the dog in a couple of days. And that was a red flag number two. Because what you mean you come and get your dog in a couple of days? This non-potty trained ass dog. What do you mean? Because who's going to take the bitch out? So that was kind of weird to me that he wasn't really trying to get the dog right away. But I'm just like, okay, maybe he want to get settled into his place or some shit. I don't know. But... It also dawned on me that we didn't hear anything about no moving process, like like how we did whenever he moved out his last place and we knew that he was moving shit out and putting it in storage. It's like, we didn't hear this process this time. Like it wasn't no, oh, I'm about to get a U-Haul. It wasn't no, oh, Gabriel, can he help me? Um, it wasn't no, oh, I'm getting this out the storage. Like we didn't hear nothing. It was as if he just already had the shit at the apartment. Like that's, that's how smooth the move seemed and i'm just like what the fuck like how the fuck okay whatever he said he moving and he in the place then that's what he said we going what he said right we taking his word because he said it right bitch wrong <laughs> very next day um he darius that is he came to our house after he got off work and we're just chopping it up and stuff like that and it was nighttime right and bitch i'm getting sleepy it's time for me to, i gotta get up to go to work in the morning like and my kids gotta go to school like nigga what what she what is you doing when is he gonna go home you in here chit chatting with us and he falling his damn sleep because he's tired from work I'm like damn nigga if you're so damn tired take your ass to the, to the house like the fuck is going on he was like all right y'all i'm about to go but i'm about to charge my phone first charge your phone why do you need to charge your phone and you supposedly stay not too far from here why can't you charge your phone at the house why can't you charge your phone in the car i was like really lost at that point because i'm just like for what why what is the reason what, what, was, reason. The reason. Reason. what was the reason what was the reason what was the reason that was also red flag number three because girl what you what you mean if the benefit of the doubt was a person was a mascot anything living it would be my dumb ass because girl you always let people have the benefit of the doubt but the truth is the benefit don't be doubting like that like it don't be given no doubt because it be like pure deceit <laughs> it be lies but my naive ass you know just because i don't have a reason to think that he's lying like why would you lie to us and tell us that you're moving and you're not when we clearly gave you a place to stay, you know what I'm saying? Even though we gave you a certain time, still, like, why would you lie? That's what I'm thinking. So I'm just like, okay, yeah, he, whatever, he got to charge his phone, whatever. So the next day, he comes to the house, again, because that was another thing I was thinking, like, why he keep coming to the house after he get off work? Cause I know me, I get off work, I don't want to sit at nobody else's house, bitch. I want to be in my bed, uh, in my shower, relaxing, you know what I'm saying? So that was another thing I couldn't really understand, but I'm just like, maybe he, you know, it's just him, you know, maybe he just glad that we back cool and, you know, just want to chit chat and catch up with us. I don't know. So this particular day, he ended up telling us, he was like, yeah, so uh, I'm going to stay the night over here if y'all don't mind, because... I thought the apartment complex was going to keep their lights on longer than they did, but apparently they didn't, and I can't get my lights on until next week. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. What? Y'all heard that? Did you hear it? I thought maybe I was... Okay. What do you mean you moved somewhere and you thought they were going to keep their lights on for you? As if you somebody. Like, why would they keep their lights on? Like, that is... Ain't that something that you should have prior to you moving in? Like, the shit should be already scheduled for connection the day that you move in? What do you mean you you didn't get lights, son? Like, I'm not understanding. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. It's not adding up. Two plus two ain't boring at all. Um, It's looking like ten because what do you mean? Me and my husband like giving each other the side eye, like you hear that shit? We both honestly were confused, but we didn't ask questions because we knew. We knew in our sphere that he was lying. And I'm the type where if I know you lying, I would just let it all play out. Cause I just want to see how far you gonna go with the lie. 
um that's just how i am and my, my apparently my husband the same way because he still you know he ain't say nothing about it up until this point like he ain't say shit you know he said he gonna get the lights on next week so that means he gotta stay with us another week okay we'll see let's see what what happens when next week come okay and then next week come it came but did Darius leave? He most definitely did not. Because suddenly Darius tells us something about, oh yeah, I've been going back and forth with apartment complex people. They talking about they sold. Okay, follow me y'all. So this is exactly what Darius said. Darius said that the apartment complex people rented an apartment to Darius that was actually supposed to be for another tenant, which that tenant was supposed to be transferring to another building did y'all follow that okay if y'all didn't rewind i said huh what do you mean they sold you the wrong apartment or they rented the wrong apartment to you i've never heard that happen ever not to say that it's impossible because shit does happen it should be happening why does this have to happen to you like why does it can't happen to somebody else <laughs> like what do you mean and so he also was stating that they were basically wanting him to move in Darius words oh they want me to move all of my stuff out after I just moved all of that stuff in there and me in my mind I'm just like when did you move this stuff in there because you at this point I already know where you're at and where you're gonna be because I've seen you, you how you move you either at work or you're on my couch sleep so when did you have time to move because i understand you said you were moving but the day that it was time for him to quote unquote move he didn't leave until that night time so ain't no way you moving at night i don't know what he had going on bitch but my head hurting just thinking about it what do you mean you gotta move your stuff out when did you move your things in sir like did we miss that i highly doubt that we did because we sure didn't miss when you was moving the shit out the actual place so why did we miss you moving the things in like i think we would know about different things like that so me and my husband were confused we were confused we didn't know what to do besides talk to each other and just be like this is the fuck why this is why this shouldn't happen okay this is why this is why like why are we why are we even going through this right now be for real be for real it was for real bitch it was for real that we were dummies <laughs> donkey of the day is us because why is he in this house why are we dealing with this why are we even dealing with this but nevertheless nevertheless the the lord gonna bless us i keep saying that i keep saying that the lord gonna bless us one day because when i tell y'all our house has been the motel hotel like it's been all of that within the last since 20 fucking 18 2017 whatever bitch like it's always something very much something somebody always got a story like i'm dealing with the top stories i don't give a fuck your lights got to cut off your gas got bitch i don't care tell it to somebody else okay but don't tell it to me because my dumb ass might fall for it and be back in the predicament that i'm in right now and so on that note i'm gonna end this because i feel myself getting pissed off and i feel like i'm getting pissed off because it was recent bitch <laughs> this happened last year the october that i was talking about yeah that was october of 2023 absolutely mm -hmm. i told y'all it was a lot i didn't think this was gonna take me so long to talk about but it is and i got another story time because we gotta figure out how this shit go in that being said thank y'all so much for watching i love y'all so much y'all understand like y'all really y'all really be motivating me to do these videos because back then I don't know. I don't know what the motivation was, but it's just something about the way that y'all been treating me lately. And I don't know if it's because I've been been delivering with the videos or what, but y'all really be making me feel like y'all love me. And I love that. <laughs> um, so that being said, if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe because why is free. <laughs> and you want to know the tea <laughs> the tea is is real 100 percent authentic i wish i could make this shit up but i can't i can't i can't fucking make it up bitch i wish it was made up i wish i wasn't as stupid i don't want to keep saying that because you know i apparently i've been a blessing for a lot of families I, i've been i've been blessing a lot of families for a while i should probably go in business maybe i should do a a, a non-profit organization you know come lay your head on my pillow because i got a place for you i got a place for you so anyways y'all go ahead like i said subscribe 
hit that thumbs up button that way your girl can be out here in these youtube streets and turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified when the next time i post the video okay if you haven't done so already go ahead and message me I'm on Instagram. It's Miss Angelique TV on all platforms, including TikTok. Let me hold on. I forgot to tell y'all. Follow me on TikTok, okay? Because I'm trying to do a little something with TikTok before they ban it. So I might as well use it while I can. So follow me on TikTok right now. Miss Angelique TV on all platforms, including TikTok. But on Instagram, I want you to message me if you want to be a, a part of the close friends. You ain't got to. You you could just wait. Till I post a video for you to see you ain't got to see it early you ain't got to get no exclusive tea that I ain't tell nobody on YouTube well, you can stay right where you at but in case you don't want to <laughs> go ahead and DM me on Instagram and let me know that you want to be a part of the close friends and I'll go ahead and add you I love y'all so much and I'm gonna see y'all in my next video Bye.